Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. When it comes to generating electrical power, the terms generator and alternator are often used interchangeably, but they are not the same device. While both serve the fundamental purpose of converting mechanical energy into electrical energy, they do so in slightly different ways and are used in distinct applications. To understand the differences between a generator and an alternator, it is crucial to delve into their working principles, construction, and typical use cases. This examination not only highlights the unique features of each device, but also underscores why one might be preferred over the other in specific scenarios. A generator, in its broadest sense, is any device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. This category includes a wide variety of machines, from the massive power plant turbines that light up entire cities to the small hand-cranked units used in emergencies. Generators can produce either alternating current, AC, or direct current, DC, depending on their design. The basic working principle of a generator is rooted in Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that a voltage is induced in a conductor when it experiences a change in magnetic field. In a typical AC generator, a rotor spins within a magnetic field, and the movement of the rotor relative to the magnetic field induces a flow of electrical current in the stator windings. The frequency of the AC produced by the generator is directly related to the speed of the rotor's rotation, which is why maintaining a consistent speed is critical in applications where the frequency of the electricity needs to be stable, such as in power generation for the electrical grid. On the other hand, an alternator is a specific type of generator that produces alternating current, AC. While all alternators are generators, not all generators are alternators. Alternators are typically used in automotive applications where they are responsible for charging the battery and powering the electrical systems while the engine is running. The design of an alternator is optimized for efficiency and durability in the demanding environment of a vehicle's engine compartment. Alternators also operate on the principle of electromagnetic induction, but their construction is slightly different from that of general-purpose AC generators. In an alternator, the rotor is typically the component that contains the field windings, and it is powered by the vehicle's engine through a belt. The stator, which remains stationary, contains the windings where the electricity is generated. One of the key advantages of an alternator over a traditional generator is that it can produce a consistent voltage at lower engine speeds, which is crucial for vehicles that operate across a wide range of engine RPMs. One of the primary differences between generators and alternators lies in the way they handle the conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy. In a traditional generator, the magnetic field is usually stationary and the armature, the part of the generator where electricity is produced, rotates within it. This design requires brushes and a commutator to transfer the electrical current from the rotating armature to the external circuit. These components are subject to wear and tear, which can lead to maintenance issues over time. Alternators, however, use a different approach. In an alternator, the magnetic field is typically created by the rotor, which rotates inside a stationary set of windings in the stator. Because the stator does not move, the need for brushes and a commutator is eliminated, making alternators more reliable and reducing maintenance requirements. Additionally, alternators can be designed to produce a higher output in a more compact form factor, which is another reason they are favored in automotive and other mobile applications. Another significant difference between generators and alternators is how they regulate voltage. In a generator, the output voltage is directly proportional to the speed of the engine or other mechanical force driving the generator. If the engine speed increases, so does the voltage, and vice versa. 
This relationship can make it challenging to maintain a stable voltage output, particularly in applications where the engine speed varies. To address this issue, generators often include a voltage regulator that adjusts the current in the field windings to stabilize the output voltage. In contrast, alternators have an advantage in this area due to their design. Since alternators generate AC, they can use a built-in rectifier to convert the AC to DC, which is then used to charge the battery or power electrical devices. The rectifier also helps regulate the voltage by smoothing out fluctuations, ensuring a more consistent and reliable output. This built-in voltage regulation is one of the reasons why alternators are preferred in vehicles, where consistent electrical power is essential. The applications for generators and alternators further illustrate their differences. Generators are versatile and can be found in a wide range of settings, from backup power systems in homes and businesses to portable units used in construction sites or outdoor events. Their ability to produce either AC or DC makes them suitable for a variety of tasks, depending on the specific needs of the application. Generators are also used in power plants, where large turbines driven by steam, water, or wind generate electricity for distribution across the electrical grid. In these applications, the generators are usually massive, and their operation is carefully controlled to maintain the necessary frequency and voltage for the grid. Alternators, by contrast, are most commonly found in automotive applications. Every car on the road today uses an alternator to keep its battery charged and to power the electrical systems while the engine is running. Alternators are also used in some small engines, such as those found in lawnmowers or motorcycles, where their compact size and efficiency make them the ideal choice. When considering the longevity and maintenance requirements of generators versus alternators, alternators tend to have the upper hand. The lack of brushes and commutators in an alternator means there are fewer parts that can wear out over time, resulting in a longer lifespan and less frequent maintenance. This is particularly important in automotive applications, where reliability is paramount and downtime for repairs can be costly and inconvenient. Generators with their more complex design and moving parts may require more regular maintenance to ensure they continue to operate effectively. This maintenance can include replacing brushes, cleaning the commutator, and ensuring that the moving parts are properly lubricated. However, the trade-off is that generators are often more versatile and can be used in a broader range of applications than alternators. In terms of efficiency, alternators generally outperform generators, especially at lower engine speeds. This efficiency is due to the alternator's design, which allows it to produce a consistent voltage across a wide range of engine RPMs. This characteristic is crucial in automotive applications, where the engine speed can vary significantly depending on driving conditions. Generators, on the other hand, may struggle to produce a stable output at lower speeds, which can limit their effectiveness in some situations. However, generators are still widely used in applications where their ability to produce both AC and DC power is a critical requirement. The choice between a generator and an alternator ultimately comes down to the specific needs of the application, with factors such as power output, efficiency, maintenance requirements, and the type of current needed all playing a role in the decision. While generators and alternators share the common goal of converting mechanical energy into electrical energy, they do so in different ways and are suited to different applications. Generators offer versatility and can produce both AC and DC power, making them ideal for a wide range of uses, from backup power systems to large-scale electricity generation in power plants. Alternators, with their more efficient and compact design, are the preferred choice for automotive and small engine applications, where consistent voltage and reliability are essential. The differences in their construction, maintenance requirements, and efficiency highlight why each device has found its niche in the world of electrical power generation. 
Understanding these differences is key to selecting the right device for a particular application, ensuring that the power needs are met reliably and efficiently. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.